Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now I recently came to the realization that nearly every paint technique I've shared on this channel has been designed to make something look old and decrepit. And since I have a really big project in the works that requires a bit more subtlety in its aging, I figured it was about time that I share that technique with you as well. And I know exactly what I'm going to paint. I had this design laser cut from MDF by my buddy Pedro over at the Laser Cave Supply, since his machine is able to cut larger designs and thicker material than mine does. And now that I have it in hand, I can get down to painting it with a dark brown spray paint. This will act as our dark base layer. You can use any brown paint for this, just make sure it's on the darker side. This will help to give the brassy metallic paints I'll be using a warmer undertone and will be the darkest of the three colors that make up this finish. And after a quick pass with the hairdryer to speed up my dry time, I grabbed this brush bronze metallic paint and a nice wide brush and got to my first pass of dry brushing. This color will act as our mid-tone and can be applied on the heavier side, but making sure to allow some of that base color to show through. When dry brushing, I like to apply paint in two alternating directions to try and minimize the brush strokes in the finish. It takes a bit of practice to minimize those patterns, and even I still get them from time to time, but if you work the paint enough, they'll eventually disappear. Just remember that you don't want solid coverage. We still want some of that dark brown to show through. Oh, and don't forget to paint your edges. When I get everything looking the way I want, I can clean out my brush and grab my highlight color, an antique gold metallic, and start applying it with an even lighter dry brush. This paint is a bit more yellow than the previous one and will help to accentuate the edges of the piece and any high spots that may have accumulated from previous paint layers. I'm trying to use as little of this color as possible on the flats and just focus my attention to the edges. If you wanted, you could stop here and apply a clear coat to seal in your paints. But I've got other plans for this piece, and those plans require a bit of tasteful aging. Starting by adding a bit of my mid-tone metallic paint to some black paint to create a wash that will be randomly applied to the surface of the piece before dabbing it away with a rag. As you can see, it's created some organic stains in the metal finish, which reminds me of how old bronze can tarnish and discolor as a result of oxidation. This is one of those steps where you can go as heavy or as light as you want, but for this piece, I wanted just a hint of it, so most of the paint was removed before it could have a chance to dry. And since we're talking about oxidation, I decided that I also wanted to add just a hint of patina. So with my patina colored acrylic paint and spray bottle of water at the ready, I started to apply small amounts of it as randomly as possible, followed by a quick dab with a damp rag. I didn't want to go too heavy, but rather just have a touch of that blue-green color on top of our warm metallic finish to hint at the advanced oxidation that occurs naturally to bronze objects. This is another paint layer that can be applied as heavy or as light as you want. I think in this application, a little goes a long way, so start light and add more as needed. And if you find that it's too heavy in places, you can always apply a bit of the mid-tone paint to help tone down the effect. After a bit of dry time, the last thing to do was to seal in my paint with a satin clear coat. 
This should be a good middle ground for this piece since it's not shiny, but it's not matte either. And just like that, this Haunted Mansion transom piece is finished. Well, that's one piece down and quite a few more to go, but I'll get into that in a future video. That's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something. <laughs>